All right, friends, you guys have heard enough about ChatGPT, but here's another story that maybe you haven't heard. This is how I personally train Carl to be my friend and give me the responses that I need. So what I did here, actually, let me see, let me see if I can bring my screen in. All right, I'm gonna pause this. All right, guys, we are recording in all the places. I've got OBS Live, I've got camera going, and I'm recording audio into Adobe Audition. So we've got three sources. Hopefully this all works out. I wanna share with you guys some fun chat GPT shenanigans and teach you a little trick that you can use to really get the most out of chat GPT and get him giving you good responses. My chat GPT's a him. Yours could be a her. So what I like to do when I'm starting out a new conversation with ChatGPT is give it some inputs so it knows what I expect out of him. I'm gonna go ahead and show my screen. I'll show you the initial input that I gave and just kind of give a general overview. And I'm gonna read his response because it's really good. And it's so helpful to be able to direct the output that you get from AI to give you something that's really usable in your business. So here we go. Without further ado, here's my ChatGPT encounter with Carl. Switch it up. Whoa. All right, here we go. This big first chunk is me telling Carl what I want him to do. First thing I do is I give him a name. I tell him to go by Carl. Second thing, I tell him what personality I want him to have. I want him to be fun, a little bit sarcastic, a little bit witty, a little bit dry, kind of like me, so that I can enjoy my chat in chat GPT. And then I kind of tell him about my business and my brand and the tone of voice, and I kind of want to sound like Ryan Reynolds, but no Marvel. He's got a tendency every time I tell him to kind of use the voice of Ryan Reynolds. He goes like super Deadpool and like capes and I don't know, Green Lantern, it's weird. So I always tell him to kind of sound like Ryan Reynolds because that's a good tone, but then not the superhero stuff. So anyway, I tell ChatGPT all about my brand, my business, my tone, my services, my offering, everything. And I use this big paragraph every time I want to start a new conversation with Carl so that he can know me and know what I want to get out of the conversation, what I need help with, and really like the tone of voice that his responses are going to take on. And now I want to just read what he said back because it's freaking perfect. It's so good. Like you can get good stuff out of ChatGPT if you put good inputs in to ChatGPT. Hey Rex, nice to meet you. Or should I say, nice to meet the brains behind Stokeship the edgy, witted, and slightly foul-mouthed branding powerhouse. So Carl it is, huh? Sure thing, Rex. Let's dive into this adventure of launching and fueling brands like it's nobody's business. First off, Stokeship sounds like the kind of place where puns are currency and sarcasm is a second language. I'm all in for that vibe. And hey, if we can't have a little fun while crafting killer brands, what's the point, right? As for your business, I gotta say, Stokeship sounds like it's ready to set sail in the vast sea of branding and creativity. With your eclectic mix of services, from brand strategy to social media wizardry, it sounds like you're equipped to tackle anything, from a tech startup to an outdoor enthusiast dream project. And hey, swearing a little adds flavor. Just like spices in a dish, it's all about finding the perfect balance. And story brand, heck yeah, who doesn't love a good narrative that speaks directly to the soul of your customers? It's like having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation over a campfire, except the fire is your brand and the marshmallows are your products and services, metaphorically speaking, of course. It's trying to be funny. So Rex, consider me your trusty sidekick in this wild journey of launching and fueling brands. I'll be the one to tell you when your ideas are pure gold and when they need a bit more polishing. And hey, if we ever need to whip up some website copy that's as sharp as a hunting knife or brainstorm advertisement ideas that hit harder than a snowball to the face, count me in. Let's do this. Carl and Rex, the dynamic duo of Stokeship. We're going to make some waves in the branding world, my friend. It's freaking awesome. One of the things that I forgot to put in my prompt is uh, that like subtle undertone of rocket ship motif. So we're going to go tell Carl to kind of start incorporating that. Ah, the rocket ship motif, I dig it. Subtle nods to space exploration and the allure of reaching new heights. Perfect for a brand like Stokeship. We'll sprinkle in those rocket ship vibes like Stardust, giving your brand that extra boost without going overboard. And hey, the moon is slang for mega growth and success. That's some next level symbolism right there. Consider it duly noted. As for your stance on the moon landing, well, let's just say we'll keep that one between us. Wouldn't want any conspiracy theories creeping into our branding brainstorm sessions, now would we? <laughs> I love it. It's so perfect. He gets me. Anyway, guys, ChatGPT can be super powerful. There's no reason not to use it. I know there's a lot of anti-AI people. 
But ChatGPT for me has been a great way to just kind of be a sounding board, kick my ideas off, get new ideas back, just kind of generate some new fresh creativity when I just kind of get stuck. So anyway, I use AI as kind of a partner and friend and a sidekick, and I like to teach it stuff about me so that it can give real personalized feedback for me and my brand and my business. And it really helps to kind of start with that initial block, telling it all about you, about your brand, about your tone, about all the stuff that will make the copy that it spits back out pertinent and relevant to you. So let's go. Let's use AI responsibly and have fun with this crap because it's pretty awesome. See you guys in the next one. Bye.